Believe it or not, I've been hearing a lot of chatter about the elf, so even though you didn't ask for it, I have some thoughts on that. Hey folks, throughout this entire week, fully grown adults, many of whom I would assume have careers and children, have been arguing online about Brownie the Elf's midfield debut. Some are condemning it, some are defending it. Some seem to be stuck in the weeds arguing about what particular genus of mythical species Brownie actually is. Regardless, thanks to the voting Browns public, Brownie the Elf is now adorning our midfield. Some people genuinely love the elf and the history behind it. Some people are like me and they could not possibly care less what logo is at midfield as long as Miles Garrett manages to throw Joe Flacco down on top of it repeatedly. And then, of course, you have the reliable contingent of people who are somehow genuinely upset by this development, primarily because they consider the elf mascot to be quite lame and incapable of intimidating our rivals. Which seems a bit silly. Do you really think that Aaron Donald has ever been reluctant to come out of the locker room when they're playing Seattle because he's too scared of the big cartoon Seahawk on the field? Of course not. These are monstrous NFL players. They don't care about our logos. But more directly, even if we don't have the scariest mascot in the NFL, we're also not the least intimidating. In fact, I've determined that there are five teams that have far less terrifying mascots than we do. Maybe this will make you feel better. Number one, the Steelers. Look, I don't like the Steelers, but you can't act like they haven't been a scary team for us in recent history. And that's despite the fact that their logo is a mill worker. I mean, that's a tough job, but I'm not scared of a mill worker. And it's a similar deal in Green Bay. They're literally named after meat packers. Again, a noble profession to be sure, but I can't be afraid of a guy who shaves my turkey cold cuts at Giant Eagle. I'm sorry. Or how about them Texans? This is a team literally named after the people who live in the state where the team plays. And I'm not saying there are no intimidating people from Texas. That's obviously not true. I'm just saying that I'm not scared of all Texans. The Jonas Brothers, for example, are from Texas. I'm not scared of the Jonas Brothers. I'm also not scared of the San Francisco 49ers because I refuse to be afraid of an old-timey gold prospector. And finally, the Browns will never ever have the lamest mascot because we still have the dolphins. And to be clear, I love dolphins. They're adorable, they're intelligent, they squeak. They even had their own TV show. They call him Flipper, Flipper, faster than lightning. All great stuff, not remotely intimidating. So there you have it, folks. Sure, we might not have the most intimidating mascot in the league, but things could always be worse. Under the sea.